Hey y'all, how we doing? We do with two hands? Yeah, it's two hands. <laughs> two hands. Hey y'all, how we doing? How's it going everybody? So today uh, we are trying to match the beadboard. You got some new beadboard cut? Uh, yeah, so the old stuff obviously is a different color. Um, some of it's just from sheer age. Uh, they build up with carbon, they get a little darker. Obviously you can sand through this layer and get them to be a bit lighter, but this is what we've got for a completed look. So this has shellac, about five inches coats of shellac, and a coat of water locks, which is what I'm using to waterproof everything, or what we're using. Um, but the new stuff, as you can see, this old stuff has very, um, a lot of lines very close together, or growth rings very close together. Um, the newer stuff has lots of very, very wide ones. Um, so the color is gonna be lighter, so we're gonna have to try to figure out how to darken this up. Yeah, so, so we've got some stains here to try. We've got dark walnut, we have red mahogany, and we have barn red, because we figured we probably need to add a little bit of red, because that's very red. And uh, yeah, we're doing this together because Caleb wants an accurate match. And, uh, and I don't have the eyes for it. I'm yeah, colorblind. So, he's colorblind. So. so yeah, we this is kind of a little group project we're going to do here. So yeah, we're going to get trying these and possibly mixing some things together. So let's get started. Let's do it. Alrighty. So I'm going to start with the barn red because I'm excited about this one. Do you want to brush it? Sure. Just a small sample. Okay, so that is pure red. Yeah. Well, at least it'll be good to mix if we need to. Yeah, that'll be the other thing, guys. It's possible that we might have to mix a few of these colors. Yeah. Uh, You've got dark walnut? Yeah. Yeah. Which is what I went for initially uh, when I was buying the stain because I figured it being such a dark color is probably a good thing in respect to that wood being so dark. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want a brushy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then this one is red mahogany. I feel like this one's probably our best bet as far as like maybe getting something close to not needing to mix. Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> I lied. Wow. Yeah. That's like black. That is, there's like no red in this at all. Kind of looks, it looks a little purpley. Like a brown purple. There's no, I don't know. Not seeing much red there. Okay, but. This one's way too red. It's the right, right, well, to my eyes, it's the right red. It's the wrong darkness. So hold on. Can we layer these? I'm hoping to. Let's move this one out of the way because. That's a no. That is a no. It's so dark. Uh, put put a little bit more down. Make me a patch, but yay big, and then I'll come in afterwards. Yo big. Ooh. Where'd you? There it is. I was like, which rag is the right one? See, that looks dark enough. Yeah. That looks red enough. Yeah. If we can combine the two. They can join forces. Make a mecha droid. What? I don't know. What was the Power Rangers thing? Uh, I, okay, so Did you not watch Power Rangers? Power again? Rangers was really, really uncool when I was a kid. Like you were a dork if you watched Power Rangers. So no, I did not watch Power Rangers. Well, that's why you're not cool now. Oh my god. Think about the consequences. Yeah, I'm not cool. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, huh. <sighs> okay, so where it's layered over the red. I don't know, because this has shellac on it, so but we're trying to match the bath for now. Not that part. This well, part. That, the problem is that hasn't even been cleaned up or sanded. Yeah, true. Uh, one of those boards has. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not gonna match until you you put at least some shellac on it. Yeah. But you have to wait a little bit for. Okay. So we want this one here. That's a lighter version. Grab the one next to it. That one's been sanded. Okay. I don't, I don't think that has any shellac on it. It might. No, it kind of looks like it does. It might. It really does. Yeah, it's got a like sheen to it a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> the shellac wouldn't uh, soak into these boards at all. <laughs> That's weird. Or it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It would soak in. It wouldn't sit on top. Mm. Like it should. I mean, that's getting close to the color. It's still super, like, but it's not like a warm enough red. It's a very cool toned red. Well, even still, but you have, 
So I mean, well, I mean, you can try to put more bread on top of it again. Mm. The bread is so cool toned though. Do we have a warm color? Like an oak? <clears throat> like an oak wood? Yeah, like something to warm it up and like, like brighten it a little bit? I mean, I have pieces of oak lying around. No, I mean stain. No. Shoot. I feel like maybe I should have gotten. I wasn't planning on using every color of the rainbow stain. I know, I know, this is crazy. Ugh. So it's it's so blood red. I don't know. It does look quite goth. <laughs> it it's like almost pink. Yeah. Maybe let that sit there for a second. Like maybe really bombard it with this. Bombard it. I mean, there are different colors in certain woods, and that's all right. Um, yeah, but we don't want it to be because this is very, this is very warm toned, you know. Well, it's more of this color than that. That that most all. No, I mean this color. is warm toned as well. No, I know. And that's this is just coming out cool. I feel like we need a warm toned stain. Well. The shellac and the tongue oil do brighten it up. I mean, look how bright that little sample piece I made the other day is. Yeah. It's just not the right base color. Okay. The the shellac adds a lot of warmth. Okay. Um, huh. So do you want to try to put shellac on this later? Yeah. I mean, that's that's for sure. Like, we have to know what it looks like in that respect. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Before we start even, going. I don't know. Um, I don't know, y'all. You could also go grab another bottle of water and make a mix like I made. So I made this mix a few, well, about a week ago. Essentially, all this is is shellac and the dark walnut mixed together and applied at the same time. Um, and then this actually has the water locks finish on top of it, or at least one coat of it. Um, but as you can see, it's not the quite the perfect tone red, but it's a lot mm -hmm. warmer than that. Yeah, it's warmer, but like, as y'all can see, and Caleb's having trouble seeing this, but I can see it very well. This is very yellowy, orangey, and this is very like red orange. You know what I mean? Like it's, this just kind of looks, I don't know. It's not the same at all. You have so much thicker dark rings or growth rings though. You're going to have but, some lighter. See the light? Yeah, but even there? the dark, it, like it doesn't match at all. It doesn't match at all. Not in the slightest. <laughs> I don't think, well, we're, I don't know if we're going to get perfections. What sure. What looks okay. good-ish. So you want to try to mix some with some water, in a water bottle? We can try. Um, yeah, we can try. Okay. Uh, My ears for attending coming in handy here. Practicing with a shake weight. I mean, it did definitely give it some more red tone. Okay. Yeah, let's try it right here, huh? Yeah. Okay, switch me spots. Ooh, it kind of looks like blood. D you mean? Yeah, if it does, it kind of looks like mm, bloody. Mm -hmm. Blood. Mmm, I can't see. So, let's see. I think you added too much red. Oh, well, as you, that's the biggest problem with the water bottle technique here. Ooh. Make a mess. I just want a bit more of it. Okay. 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 Hmm. That could work. And this being shellac, you just add more and more and more. I don't know. I'm kind of upset that the stripes are so big. <laughs> the problem of old growth versus new growth. Yeah. It's just not going to look the same. No, and it won't either. Dang. That, this is the biggest difference between old growth lumber and new growth lumber is these trees um, grow in very specific conditions. They're given lots of light. It's very easy for them to grow, so they grow very fast. So you get these huge growth rings, mm. which is the old growth stuff. It didn't have quite the advantage that this stuff has. Um, so it lived a bit of a harder life, if you will, and it made it a tougher tree. <laughs> uh, 
with slower growth rings, more growth over longer periods of time. And you just get, you know, something different with it. Okay. Now let's do a switch. Take that. I take. And then um, you want to pass me over the actual shellac? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. So we got as much color, I think, as we really need to put into it. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Do you want a fresh rag? Uh, this will probably be fine. Okay. Shouldn't hurt the shellac any. Oh. Um, hmm. That just took it a really strange place. It almost took color out of it, eh? It did. It really did. I wonder if the alcohol is eating the color and like maybe you would need to let it dry for a few hours. Yeah. Like let's hit this other spot here. Okay. The stain you're supposed to let dry for a few hours before you do anything, but I've never messed with shellac and stain at the same time. We're just experimenting here, folks. Hmm. Well, it made that very warm. Yeah, it did. Okay. It so also that made makes... it a little pinky. Yeah, it's kind of pink. Like here, it's very pink and then black next to it. Yeah, this mix is not it. <laughs> hmm. That helps. And you know, as as you put more of the garnet on, it does get darker. Mm -hmm. The red gets darker. Yeah. Um, so it might be something where you just have to every, you know, 15 minutes come add another layer and see what you can get out of it. And then the other thing is the water locks itself is made of tongue oil. Uh, or is made with tongue oil. Um, so it actually adds more red as well. Um, and that has the tongue oil already on it. I don't know if y'all can see that right now. Let me well, bring it over. Well, here, show, show them that board over there. This board? Yeah, because these, these two boards are almost the same thing. They... <laughs> it's, the only difference is this just has shellac on it. Mm -hmm. And that has the water locks well, and the let shellac. Let me come over here. See, that's just... Yeah. You're getting some very bright tones here, though. Sure, yeah, but this is like, it got really cool toned again when that shellac sunk in. Hmm. It's really good. This is odd. The shellac smells good. It's just alcohol. Well, I don't think it smells like alcohol. I mean, it does at first, but like... That's all it is, alcohol. The shock doesn't really smell like anything. The actual flakes. Hmm. Huh. the whole piece, I guess. Very scientific. All colors look the same now, huh? Let's, just, let's try over here. Just put just shellac there. No, I'll tell you what happened there. It'll go very orange. Because pine is a very, very bright wood. Mm. Yeah. I mean, some of our boards have some closer, like, you know, that one there. Yeah. Has very close, or closer, mm -hmm. more start grained. Yeah. This is not, so. Let me do. Is it already wet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That has so much in it, it'll stay wet for a second. Yeah, it's just not giving enough red because the, the, what we're going for is like a very cherry kind of look, you know, like a cherry wood. I'm just surprised that that red mahogany was such an awful color. <clears throat> well, pine is not... Waste of $10. Pine is not a great wood for this. Mm. Now we didn't try this over just the red. You can make another patch. Yeah. All right. So as y'all can see, I moved you over a little bit because I want to try a little bit of the red with the shellac on top. And just see where that gets us. Do the whole piece by it.
give it a little glow. I know I just put it down, but that might let it, let it tone down a little bit, you know? It's really taken to the stripes, you know? I'm gonna flip it where it's not red and just go over this just real quick again. Hmm, yeah, I don't think that's gonna do it because that red just soaks right into the stripes and gets it really dark. I think the closest you're gonna get is probably this. Which is, is this and the walnut mixed. Sure. Because you can't have so, so much red in the, uh, in the lines. Yeah, I mean, it's so red. I feel like this one looks better than this one. There is one other thing we could try, hmm. but it wouldn't be today. What? You can take vinegar mm -hmm. and steel wool. Okay and let it rust in there for a day or two, and then put it on the wood. In the vinegar? Yeah, I think you need tea as well for pine. Oh. Um, and you put that mixture on it and it instantly ages it. Okay, huh. So you put the steel wool in vinegar and it rusts. Mm-hmm, okay. vinegar and tea. Okay, we have for tea. For pine. Tea for pine? Yeah, you need tea for pine. Specific tea for pine? You specifically need like to make bags of tea. Okay, I thought, it was like, I thought it was like a product, tea for pine. No. Okay, just regular like, like Lipton. Make, yeah, you need to make some tea. We have and tea. pour it into the mix. We have tea. Oh, I have to make the tea separate? I can't put the bags? I suppose you put the bags. I don't know. I was reading about the other I'll, I'll I, It was interesting to think that we might be able to age the wood. Okay. I mean, I can definitely look into that because, yeah, I feel like none of these are perfect. And I feel like we need to do some more experimentation before we get started. I don't I don't think you're gonna be doing much of this today. Yeah, I don't think so either. This We're might, not close enough. This might be a video that comes out a little later than when this was shot because yeah, of this. Yeah, because I was gonna do this later today and tomorrow, because today's Saturday, Caleb's got hockey this afternoon in a little bit. So we were experimenting, hoping to find something, and then I would just get on with it, you know, tonight and uh, tomorrow. I don't think that's going to happen. Nothing is close enough. I don't feel comfortable putting any of this on the wall. I don't. This is the closest. I don't know. Hopefully y'all can see at least the edge of this one here, but it's just not right. It's too dark in the stripes. Because this one, even though it is darker in the stripes, it's still like a brown. Whereas this is like black. It's almost black brown. You know? I just feel like none of it's right. So we don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to put anything on the wall that's not as close to perfect as possible. So, you know, actually, I'm looking at this. I think this might be the fur piece that I was given. Fur? I don't, I don't think that's pine. I think you don't... that's the fur piece. Okay. They get, don't give me two pieces. Okay. That were samples. Okay, so Caleb got two samples. He thinks this is the fur. <laughs> I guess while they were getting the beadboard cut to see which, uh, which uh, type of wood they'd like to go with. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the pine here. Right. And what'd you put on it? This is, I think, uh, the same mix, my, my special mix. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is definitely the pine. Um, I know there are specific, I know there are specific things you guys can buy. There are shellac tints, uh, that I know you can buy to tint the shellac a different color, but I've not uh, done it. Obviously, this doesn't have water locks. This has much more shellac and much more product on it in general. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, can you tell the difference between which woods which? I mean, obviously there's a different color going on right now, but if you turn them to the back, yeah, it's rough. This but I think is, this these old cool. striations make that fur. I feel like this is a cooler toned wood and this is pretty warm. This one has more red and this one's more yellowy. So yeah, I think this is gonna take definitely some more experimentation. We can have them go run everything in fur. I feel like the but pine this looks... is this is what's this is a, a tree but... that's almost extinct. This is longleaf leaf pine. Mm. It's almost extinct. Okay. Well, I feel like I mean I feel like the pine is fine. I don't feel like they're like that different. And it's like especially as the product that we want to come out is a warm tone, you know, shade. I feel like the pine is good for that. We just are not finding the right combination. 
You can just keep shellacking and shellacking and shellacking until you hit a color. I mean, here, put, let's get your rag going and put some more of this on this and see what happens. Okay. Maybe you need to base it in shellac and then put the stain on so the stain doesn't soak so much in the grain. Okay. It's possible, you know. Again, I'm just throwing out concepts here because I'm not sure. Hurry. We are live experimenting, y'all. The color will come slowly. Mm, yeah, You'll I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this multiple side. Multiple times. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this side so we know what we, we came from. I know where I came from. <laughs> yeah, I do too, you bumpkin. All right, bird girl. <laughs> you are the basic valley girl type. No, I'm not. I was never. <laughs> She's from L.A., guys. <laughs> not, not really. Not really. We're going to get one. what you got against L.A.? <laughs> well, well, I lived there for many moons. A few things, maybe. <laughs> yeah, this is actually turning out nice. And this is just basic shellac, or was that your special? That's the special. Oh. Oh, okay. Now, now, what's on underneath that is one layer of the original special. Yes, yes. Not with the red. Then adding some more. So, again, a lot of these things, like, the more you put on, the better it looks. Mm -hmm. But that's getting close to the right red. Yeah, it truly is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Understand you're trying to hit this color. Um, yeah, I know. And then your water locks that and it turns the right color. Ah. Okay, I feel like we might have had a breakthrough here. You'll have to just keep mixing this as, as it goes down. Mm -hmm. But this will go a long way. That's a lot of product in there. Yeah. But I was doing that on some of the oak. Like, that, I originally made this to darken up the oak that we have. Mm. So it start matching some of the older colors. Okay. And this probably isn't terribly different, actually, to how they were doing it back in the day downstairs. You know how, like, the oak staircase, when you hit it with something, it brightens up really fast? Mm -hmm. um, it's the same thing with this. Oak such a very bright wood. Yeah. Um, when you hit it with shellac, it just goes neon. Yeah. Um, so they had to have put something in it to make it darker. So we had the one here that was without red, and then we put with red on top. So we'd have to mix one without red to start and then add the red on top. So, with your eyes that can see, Kim, how close are we? Are we on it? Are we hitting it? I think we're we're only, we're about there, you know, and especially after... Does it need to go darker still? Yeah, I, I'm going to add a little bit more, but it's still a little bit wet. Yeah, yeah just a few seconds between coats. Okay. Shellac should... Because it's a mixture, we shouldn't... You don't need, like, the four-hour dry time in between, so... Mm. Um... The thing I'm not 100% sure on this is like the longevity, but then, then again, the water lock should seal it pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all, I think we done it. <laughs> you, <What>? y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm super excited. So maybe, maybe the first step is okay. Then okay. So first step. Let's to move this here, and say this is just shellac, right? Yeah, but it's it's your special mix. <coughs> see if you can, because this is just a basic shellac, mm -hmm. see if you can get that color out of that. Yeah, but we had already put the red in here, yeah? Well... Oh, no, we were using it over here. Mm -hmm. We were using this the regular one. This is just base one. Okay, so shellac. base shellac, so no see mix. See if you can get that color with that. Okay, so this is just regular shellac, no stain mixed in or anything, just out of the bucket. Oh! I'm not putting enough on the, on the rag. Y'all. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Y'all. Because okay. every time you hit it, it will get darker and yes. darker and darker. Okay. I'm super excited. Okay, so that's the way we do it then. Okay. So regular shellac and then. Yes, yeah, so you're going to shellac all the pieces. You're going to seal it and there'll be no more blotching after that either. Mm-hmm. 
um, shellac will do that. You see where it'll it'll dry funny in some weird spots. Oh yeah. People will a lot of the times use a clear shellac, mm -hmm. then go over it with the color of oh. shellac they want to stop it being blotchy. Okay. No, that's no, just cutting the board. Okay. Fine. And actually, imperfections are a good thing here. Mm -hmm. um, because, oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have uh, some tools uh, oh. in plastic over there that fell out. I, I'm not putting up on this. It was a ghost. It was a ghost. There we go, y'all. Proof. Ghost confirmed. Ghost confirmed. It's just hard to tell because the, the one that we're, we had here is a little sample. The, the, the grain, grain is better. Yeah, the grain is a lot better. So this is, it's just. I do say though, on a lot of these, like we do have better grain though. Like. Yeah, on a lot. So we, we just test this whole piece. You want me to test that whole piece? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Well, I guess I'm going to leave it here since it looks like we found the, the solution, huh? So some regular shellac and then shellac with dark walnut and the red barn, barn red. Yeah, barn. mixed in. Mixed in. Um, and it's about, I mean, I can't give you ratios because I just mixed it, but... Uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> it, it's, it's probably a little more than half shellac and a little less than half stain. Okay, so like... And the stain is about equal amounts. Two-ish parts stain to one-ish part of each stain. Or sorry, two-ish parts of shellac to one-ish one, uh, one -ish parts of each stain. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I think that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Two shellac, one stain, one stain of the different colors. So, yeah. I'm surprised that we, uh, we came through with it because I thought that that was, like, not going to work out. So... And then you remember, uh, if you don't like the color, just uh, keep adding to it. Typically that'll work. Uh, at least when it comes to shellac itself. As you keep going, it gets darker. Come here. Come here. So yeah, as you add, it gets darker. Yeah, so if you don't like the color, uh, at least when it comes to the shellac variety of things, just keep adding product. It will get darker. Um, unless you're using... Um, uh, there's like a, a product like Zin, Zinzer, I think it's Zinzer, uh, is the name that you can go buy at like big box stores, it's shellac. Really? That stuff's always orange, like very orange. Because we have the darker garnet, garnet flakes, um, as you add more, it gets darker and darker and darker. And the color gets more red and red and red. Yeah. So. Yeah. Feeling good? Alrighty. So yeah, that is uh, what we're working with. So the next video is going to be me shellacking a bunch of stuff. So uh, I will see you in the next one. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two hands, right? Two Bye. Hands.